Hello friends, my name is Malik Nejad and welcome to last part of GitLab CI CD pipeline and Traform. Before I start, I will appreciate like this video and put your feedback in comment section. Let's start. Until now, we learn about GitLab pipeline, pipeline jobs, pipeline stages and artifacts and also we wrote basic GitLab CI configuration. Now we are going to focus on our Traform code and running them automatically by pipeline stages. Let's go into editor. In Traform we need some stages. One of them is init. Another stage is plan and apply stage. So we can change the name of jobs, job, plan job, and apply job. And we can assign to job stages, stage init, stage plan, and stage apply. Let's remove the content of this script. And we need to add our command here. For example, for the plan, traform plan, for apply, traform apply transform in it let's remove the artifacts at the moment we don't need that as you see here this is a simple template for our transform as you remember we use gitlab as a http backend and we had a specific command for transform in it so we should change this transform to that command and we should change this traform in it to that command. Let's make it more simpler. So for doing simpler, we need to use variables. As you see here, I did a little change on uh, on traform in it with using variable. For example, if I want to create another repository with the name demo02, just we should change it only here and no need to do any change in this command. If you remember, in GitLab runner, we are using Alpine image. So this image don't have Traform installed inside it. So for run Traform code, we need an image that have Traform inside. So let's go into Docker Hub and search for Traform image. The first one is the best. As you see here, this image over than 100 million times downloaded. So let's copy the name of this image and back to GitLab server. Here we can use this image in two ways. Going to GitLab runner and change the Alpine to this image or using directly in the configuration. The second way is better because next time if we want to use another version of image, it will be easy to change it here. There is another parameter called image come to play in our configuration. We should use it like this and give a name and add it here like this. So everything is ready. So let commit, commit change and see what will happen. As you see, it's failed. Let's go inside and see what's the issue. Using Docker image, Traform has no command name sh. When we are using an image in CI CD configuration, we need to define entry point. Let's back to editor. For the image, we should define an entry point like this. Entry point is used to specify the command executed when the container is started. So we need to add it here and let's commit again and see what will happen. It seems there is typo in our command. Let's back and correct it. Let's remove. So I corrected my mistake. Let commit again. As you see, the first step, initial step, run successfully, but it failed in plan step. Why? Let's see here. From the logs, 
as you see here, failed because initial configuration of the requested backend HTTP. As I told you before, in each stage, the container bring up and after the job finish, it will destroy. So after the initial step finish, the Docker container gone and no result transfer to second one. But here is different from the artifacts because there is no result that we should transfer to another step. So what we should take care of that? Because in each stage need to run initial. So for solve this problem, let's back to editor and in configuration, another parameters come to play. It's called before a script. Before a script, it's a hide a stage. This can be defined at the top level of the configuration file and it will apply to all jobs in the .gitlab-ci file. So if I transfer this script from here to here, automatically it will apply to all steps and no need to define it here, here and here and it will automatically be run. So as you see here, we don't need any more for initial step because it will automatically run before any stages. We can change this stage to validate a step and run transform validate. Before commit, let's review it. So we have three stages, validate, plan apply. Also, we want to deploy demo 01. As you know from the last videos, we have created this one. When the draw form run again, no change will apply it. So everything, it seems okay. Add a message here and commit. Okay, let's go in here. Initial step done, success. Back to plan step. As you see here, also no change. Your infrastructure match the configuration. As you know, uh, the demo 01 repository we have created before, so normally nothing will be happen. As you see here, refreshing the state and everything is okay. As you saw, all the stages validate, plan, apply, did run successfully. Now let's check our repository exists here. We have demo 0102. Let's go in and create demo 03 by CICD. Let's go into terminal and from here let's update the repo. ls vim main tf create a project called 303 with the visibility level private save and open CICD file and just we need to change this one to 3 let's save it and check git status both modify git commit using the switches am create repo demo 03 committed and let git push as soon as we did push automatically gitlab runner let's check uh, docker ps here as you see the container run here and execute the stages and after destroy Another container comes up and run the stages and then disappear. This is for the last step. Another container comes up and disappear. So it seems all a step down. Let's back to GitLab server. Let's refresh here. Demo 03 created. It's in private visibility. Now let's go to repo manager and CI CD pipeline. As you see, all the steps passed. Let's check the last one. As you see here, 
job succeed let's check a state file in infrastructure draw for demo 03 updated now let's back to editor and i need to add another stage for destroy so i need uh, to add another stage here destroy a step destroy and destroy as soon as I commit change at first going to create that and quickly destroy that so it is not good because uh, sometimes if by mistake you run that automatically going and destroy that so there is another parameters comes to play here it's called when and let's check GitLab documentation use when to configure the conditions for when jobs run. If not defined in a job, the default value is when on success, like we did before, the jobs going and run automatically. So let's use manual, run the job only when triggered manually. So let's use this one and see how it works. And also we can use it in uh, apply a step and commit message and commit changes. Initial step finished. Plan step also finished. Just refresh the state file. After we added when here is waiting to trigger. If I click here, going to run this step. Apply a step also finish after we trigger play button let's trigger destroy it's in running state as you see destroy a step finish let's see that one destroy and demo 03 destroyed let's check here demo 03 deleted and if i go here from the state file 03 updated now and if i go here you see it's empty so the state file also updated. The last thing I should tell you is about artifacts here. We can use artifacts in plan step to get an output file and then transfer that to apply a step for running faster. I think all the basic steps that you need to use in your configuration discuss during these three videos at the end i will appreciate if put your feedback in comment section thank you